A modern presidential inauguration is one of the largest political events in America, with hundreds of thousands of people attending. But in 1923, the first inauguration of Calvin Coolidge was a much humbler occasion, more like a family get-together than the inaugurations we know today. After the sudden death of President Warren Harding in San Francisco, Vice President Calvin Coolidge had to be sworn in as president. But Coolidge was across the country in Vermont, at his family farm, which had no telephone. Eventually, a news reporter was sent to tell Coolidge what had happened. After being woken and told what had happened by his father, Coolidge wanted to waste no time and be sworn in as president immediately. Normally, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court swears in the president, but obviously this was not possible, and so a surprising replacement was found. Coolidge's father, John, a public notary and Justice of the Peace, could administer the oath instead. And so John Calvin Coolidge took the extraordinary step and administered the oath of office to his own son. Some doubted whether a state official could administer the oath, and so a secret second swearing was done a few weeks later in Washington, D.C.